Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Vibes. Today in this video, we are going to learn about closure property of integers. Now, closure property of integers states that two integers A and B, whether they are added, subtracted, multiplied or divided, they will give you is integers as the answer only. Now, what does it mean? कि अगर कोई भी दो integers हैं अगर मैं उनको add करूं तो जो answer आए वो भी integer है अगर मैं उनको subtract करूं जो answer आए वो भी integer है अगर मैं उन्हें multiply करूं the answer the product should also be an integer or if I divide them then also the answer should be an integer now let us look at this property with the help of an example now let us check the closure property under addition now let us suppose that a is 3 and b is 5 now by closure property a plus b should also be an integer okay you know that z is the symbol for writing integers right so let us see now 3 plus 5 which is equal to 8 here 3 is also an integer and 5 is also an integer and when you will see when you will add them then it becomes 8 now 8 is definitely an integer now you can take any numbers and you can check the answer will always be an integer for example here if I take a as minus 3 and if I add them then the answer will be 2 over here which is again an integer so closure property under addition means that when I add two integers then the answer is always an integer. The sum is always an integer. So that means that integers are closed under addition. So yes integers are closed under addition. Now let us check whether integers are closed under subtraction or not. So let's take the same numbers again a is 3 b is 5. So closure property under subtraction means that if I subtract a from b or b from a then the answer should be an integer. Let's check is it true or not. So 3 minus 5 will give you minus 2. Now minus 2 is certainly an integer right. So yes, by this example, it is closed under subtraction. Now let us see what happens if I subtract 5 from 3. Then if I subtract 5 from 3, it will give me 2. 2 is again an integer. I hope you remember the definition of integers. That integers include all the positive numbers, negative numbers along with the number 0. So positive number, negative number, they all are integers only. So integers are closed under subtraction 2. Now let us check whether integers are closed under multiplication or not. So here now we are going to check the closure property under multiplication with the same number a as 3 b as 5. Okay so let's check a into b. Now a into b means 3 into 5 which is equal to 15. So a into b the product should be an integer. 15 is definitely an integer. So that means with this example it holds under multiplication. And same will goes for b into a which is 5 into 3 which is again 15. That means the closure property holds under multiplication. Yes the closure property holds under multiplication. Now let us check whether the closed property holds under division or not. Alright, now let's check whether the uh, closure property holds under division or not. Now that will mean that whether I divide A by B or I divide B by A, the answer should be an integer. Now let's check with these two, answer is coming to be an integer or not. A by B will means 3 by 5. 3 by 5 which is a fraction. Right? So it is definitely not an integer. Same with B by A. 5 by 3. 
again it is a fraction and it is not an integer so closure property does not hold under division because the answer is not coming out to be an integer okay so closure property does not hold under division but it does hold under addition subtraction and multiplication once again closure property means that if i add two numbers the answer should be the sum should be an integer if i subtract two integers the answer should be an integer if i multiply two integers the answer should be an integer in all those cases the answer was coming out to be an integer but in this when we have checked under division then the answer was not the integer so that means closure property does not hold for division when we check for integers okay so that's all about closure property now the next property that we'll be discussing in the next video will be commutative property stay in touch bye do check out the details about commutative property in our next video and don't forget to click on the subscribe button bye